I went to the Mexico MTC, and we were the very first missionaries to set foot in the MTC. No one else had been there before us. So there's only about 45 of us there that first week that we were in the MTC. And they weren't quite used to having Americans, and so they didn't know how to feed us or take care of us. And so, you know, I drank the water, ate the salad, did everything you're not supposed to do in Mexico for six weeks. And I caught a parasite, not a parasite, but a bacterial infection called C. diff, um, which uh, made me pretty sick. And so I had to come home after seven months of serving my mission. Um, and then I actually got the opportunity to go back on my mission uh, a few months later. And I was able to take that time between when I first came home and when I went back to like evaluate how I could change, how I'd better serve a mission, because I, I did get a second opportunity to serve. And the second time I went back out, like I was definitely more committed to giving my heart to the Lord, because um, I knew that that would make the difference if you know, like I was single to His glory, that I would have more success and more joy in the work that I was doing. So C. diff, uh, it's a bacterial infection that, that grows within your colon. Um, it's super rare. It only occurs in like rest homes and people with weakened immune systems. So the doctors couldn't figure out how I got it and they couldn't really figure out how to treat it. It's kind of one of the untreatable diseases because like the bacteria will grow like shells around it and protect it from all antibiotics. So you'll take like antibiotics and you get stronger antibiotics and stronger antibiotics and then you just wait for it to eventually stop growing. Um, it kind of makes it so that you can't digest food, releases toxins that, you know, cause lots of pain, um, a whole lot of related symptoms, that, um, but there's not really a treatment for it and eventually it can like eat a hole through your, your colon and then kill you. So I spent seven months of, you know, experimental drugs and tests and scans and stuff trying to figure out how they could best cure it. Um, and until the point that they decided, the mission president decided that it'd be best for me to go home to receive treatment. Um, I spent about two thirds of my mission in bed, not really moving. Because when you can't digest food, you, don't, you get no energy, so then you can't really move anymore. So I'd sleep like 18 hours a day. Um, so that was rough. It was definitely rough not being able to get out and work. Because, you know, I spent my whole life preparing to go on a mission. I was super excited to go. I left, you know, right after graduation. I wanted to be a missionary. And then as soon as I get out there, I couldn't, couldn't serve like I wanted to. Um, it was definitely a faith-building experience, though, because I learned that um, the Lord will still get His work done. Um, you know, there would be times that I couldn't go out and work at all that week, um, but I'd commit to go to church because, you know, missionaries go to church. So I'd go to church. Um, and a member would come up and say, hey, you need to come teach my next door neighbor, um, Enrique and Olia, you need to teach them. And so we'd go stop by afterwards and say a prayer with them and then commit to church the next week and my companion would go out with a different missionary, we'd go on splits and so I'd stay home, he'd go out and teach them during the week and then they'd come to church and then they're baptized a few weeks later. You know, God would provide miracles so that the work was still being done in our area, even though I wasn't able to serve.